Hey everybody, it's Michael from Aqua Digital, and today we're going to do a bit of box opening for you. All great, exciting stuff. Um, a lot of people ask me about the Bulb Megas uh, range. Is it worth it? Affordable skimmer? Is it too cheap? What do you get for your money? Well, let's look at all aspects here. I'm going to look at the uh, Bulb Megas Curve 5. This has got to be the biggest selling skimmer on the market. We just see so many of these go through our warehouse. They're rated up to 130 gallon, down, down to 80 gallon. Optimal obviously is going to be a 100 gallon, which falls right in the range of the average uh, hobbyist tank. Uh, you can YouTube as much as you like and look online. Uh, videos of how much gunk these uh, babies kick out is it, just phenomenal. They've been around for the on the market for quite some time now. They've got good pedigree behind them. Uh, and this really should be on your uh, top of your buying list when you're looking for a skimmer because the, the value point is just amazing for what you get and the reliability etc etc so let's look inside the box and see what you get so here we are one here's one i opened earlier Whoa. and one thing i'll say with Omegas, and you're probably going to lose my head but i'm quite sure you don't really see my head um, is what you get inside and uh, the packaging especially how well it's packaged so if you're having one of these shipped to you from one of your dealers uh, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to arrive in, in good condition we've seen couriers pretty much drop kick these with holes through the side and it arrives um, in perfect condition. Uh, so this is one thing I've always been impressed with Bubble Omega, so they really think ahead about how these may be shipped and how they're packaged. So let's get it out and let's see how it goes together. So first thing is obviously where the rubbish goes and yeah, collection cup. Good decent sized collection cup, incredibly well made and it's got a, a port here for draining and it comes in the in the box with a tube which has got a plug on the end of it so you can just unplug it and drain it out so you don't have to keep taking the the, uh, the cap on and off on and off um, it's got a good solid o-ring for sealing here all these parts of course being uh, supplied from Canada they're already readily available so there's your cup let's have a, have a look at the next part I'm going to talk about the pump next actually the pump this is quite special to me because I've got quite involved in um, in the process of this this pump is uh, the Rock SP1000. Uh, uh, these are made by Bubble Magus in-house. I know this for a fact because I went through the process of having them certified for Canadian um, safety. And during that process, I had to see exactly what manufacturer they use for all little uh, components to put it together. And of course, the testing process. They come with a nice two-year warranty. And a Canadian supported warranty, no hassles, no worries. So inside, of course, all your quality stamps and your, your warranty cards. And you've got your Venturi, look at that right now. Ready for the assembly. And then this little dongle here, this is your, uh, your cable tidy. Um, and then the pump itself. There you go, neat little SP1000 and easy to service. Just take that off and pop this off. And then you've got your impeller inside there. And of course, all these parts are available in Canada if you ever need them. There you go, let's get rid of the box, put this aside, and let's get out the main body and all the other parts. So here's all your pipes and your, your air, air intake. Again, the quality for the price is just amazing. Look at the pipes you need. And there, there's your, your air intake. This is the pipe that goes onto your skimmer waste. So it just goes on there. And it's got a drain plug at the end. And, uh, you just take that out to drain it, drain it out. That's that. Okay, so let's get the body out. Body again, quality is just amazing. I mean, why spend more, to be honest? What's the point? Look at this. Seamless, moulding, well built. Oh, this is shiny. So let's take it apart and start a bit of assembly work. I haven't assembled one of these for a while now, so forgive me if I'm all a bit of fingers and thumbs. There we go. So easy to come off for servicing and maintenance. Four screws. There's your, your motor block body. Let's make sure I get this around the right way so I don't make myself look silly. And on this goes. Oh. 
There you go, finger the thumbs again. Nice sturdy click as it clicks in. And then we'll get the, the cable grommet. And we'll put that round here. Stops the old cable chafing. That's probably going to pop out on me because I've got the cable still done up, but oh, it's in there nicely. Okay, this is where a lot of people make mistakes. They get this far and they go and put the body on the wrong way around. So, hole there. Here's for the venturi. Line it all back up again. And then it just clicks back on. But before we go any further, of course, we've got to put the airbox on. Again, really well made airbox. Unscrew it. Yes, then plate goes on through here. Screws down like that. And the right way, Michael. And this goes on like that. And don't ever over tighten it because you don't want to crack it, there's no need to. It's all nice and tight, just finger tight's all you need. Okay, now providing it around the right way, we should get the, this on. Just line up all the bits and pieces. Yes, you probably noticed the bungs fall out, but that's for the cable, but that's just because I am not undoing the the actual cable itself. There we go. Lump it down, press it down. Pull. Get that in there like that. Oh. I like, like live videos, you can see all the fingers and thumbs going on. But that's only come out because of I'm having to undone this, so I've not enough cable ready for it to get in the way. What's next? Your venturi goes on there. Or your volute, your venturi. And then you've got your airbox, a little scrub here for that. There it goes. Screwdrivers can cross edge screwdrivers up tightly, but just for here, that's enough. There you go, and then put your pipe on. And then all that's left to do, of course, it is just to put your, your cap on, yeah, your lid on. So, there you go, there's a built Curve 5, lovely little unit, perfect for your uh, 75 gallon um, plus tank. Uh, affordable, really well built, available in uh, across Canada, and very easy to set up. So all we need to do for setup is uh, adjust this to the maximum. There's a little blue marker on there, and it says maximum there. Set it to max. Max. Put it in the tank, and I've set it to the highest setting, uh, which is, tells you in the instructions what uh, what the highest setting should be. I how high in in, in the tank and uh, let it let it bed itself in. If you find it's just continually overflowing to start with, uh, you can vinegar bath it. Uh, this gets rid of a lot of the manufacturer's, manufacturer's residue, uh, which can eliminate that. Or you may also find, if you had a poorly running skimmer in the past, it's, this is gonna uh, produce a lot more uh, skimmate. So you may find that it starts to overflow a lot. Now, the biggest mistake a lot of people make uh, when they have an overflowing skimmer is they just let it flow back into the tank. Well, that's not gonna achieve anything. You're just gonna create a repetitive cycle because you're putting back into the tank what the skimmer's removing. So just remove the bung and let it run out. If you find that it's just too much and you've raised as high as you can, you can just peg off the air, uh, air flow a bit uh, to reduce it down until it until it settles down. But this is rare. We get only a few, uh, maybe one or two a year. We uh, stories we hear that overflowing like that from new. Typically, it's uh, a silicate in the water or something similar that's causing it. And you just got to uh, wait it out and just let, let the, the the waste uh, go into a bucket and not back into the tank. Just don't let it go back into the tank. So there you go. That is the uh, Bow Magus Curve Five. There is a more of elite version. In fact, it's called the Elite 5. Uh, this comes with a CJ pump. It also has uh, one extra adjustment for um, control, which is just a slide here uh, for, to let more water out. Uh, obviously, they're more pricey because of the pump it comes with uh, and the fine adjustment. The quality is, is the same. Uh, they look a bit more funky, black and red, uh, instead of just all white. 
Um, and they're, they are a very high seller because of the pedigree that comes with the CJ. But saying that, uh, we don't get a single issue really with the uh, uh, the rock pumps. They're, they're very solid, very, very solid. Uh, and they work really well. So there you go. That's the Curve 5. You will find absolutely everywhere across Canada. Pretty much any decent uh, retail store carries them. And if you're not carrying it as a retail store, well, I strongly suggest you do because your customers are going to want it. Um, this is just the, uh, the Curve 5, of course so you've got the, the Baby 3.5, the Curve 7 uh, and then you get into the DC ranges of the, um, uh, the A series which is the A5, A8s, A9s, uh, 9 pluses and of course the Elites with the CJs which is 5, 7 and 9 and of course you've got the hang on backs. So there you go, there's an old Makers Curve 5, I uh, mentioned a few others as well. Um, any questions, just you reach out to me, sales at aqua-digital.com. I'm always around seven days a week to answer any of your questions. And uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll check out the Curve 5 at your local fish store. Thanks, guys.